Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. I'm a data management product specialist here at Go Engineer. This is going to be a quick tips video looking at how to set up a watermark on a SolidWorks drawing so that the Enterprise PDM workflow can automate changing that watermark based on what stage it's in in its life cycle. So the first step in this process is to create the watermark on the drawing. We'll start with a brand new drawing. Um, we'll choose our company standard here with whatever uh, title block is appropriate. And the next thing to do is to add a custom property. I'll use the name watermark so that we can distinguish the variable. And we'll start all drawings off in our process with a watermark of preliminary. Okay, so now that we've got a custom property, we need a note to match. Okay, and the syntax here is very important. We might make this gray so that it's kind of in the background. And the syntax is dollar sign PRP colon and then I'll space so that this doesn't immediately disappear. And we'll say the name of the custom property in quotes. And then you'll see as I delete this, that will change to the value preliminary. Add it back and it's just text. So that's the syntax. We may want to angle that a bit and then finally delete the space. Now we want to save it as a drawing template. I'll just save that onto my desktop as a drawing template, DRWDOT, and overwrite the existing watermark. So we're going to save this in a place where all of our users can access it, probably in the vault. And we're done with the template. Now we need to make Enterprise PDM aware of the new variable and its mappings. So we'll log into our watermark vault or our company vault. And we'll right click to say new variable. The new variable name is going to be watermark. It is a text type. We'll select new attribute to map that to the SOLIDWORKS custom property. And inside of the custom properties of the SLD DRW files, the attribute name is watermark. So the custom property name goes here. Um, we can select from the drop down custom property for SOLIDWORKS files and we want that to be mapped for drawing files. Okay, so now that we've created the variable, we need to go ahead and add to the workflow some transition actions that are going to modify that variable. So maybe for an example, we want an action here as we submit these design files for approval. We want an action that sets variable pending. The type is going to be set variable. The variable we're setting, of course, is the watermark. And this is very important. We want the configuration to be the at configuration, meaning the custom properties of these files. And the value at this point in the life cycle, the watermark should say pending. OK. And then maybe one more. To approved. So the watermark will say pending at this point and approved at this point. Now the next step is very important as well. We need to 
add a field on the data card for that drawing file that's kind of the link between the custom properties and the enterprise PDM workflow. So we'll add a field on the drawing the data card for that field and map that to the watermark variable. Now just having that on the data card is the link between those custom properties and the workflow itself. So now we can save that, close out, make sure we've saved our workflow, close out of the admin tool, and now let's use our new template. So on the desktop we have our watermark test template and we may add a model view of some file there that looks pretty good now we'll go ahead and say file save as save this into the vault that we have our workflow set up and we just happen to have a directory in there for new drawings we'll save that there and from the Enterprise PDM interface within SolidWorks, we'll check the drawing in. Now we can close that drawing out. We'll do the rest of the work from Windows Explorer. So navigating into the vault, we'll push this file through its workflow. Okay. So by selecting on that drawing, we can see the watermark says preliminary at this point. We'll change the state to say submit for approval and we'll see the watermark update to pending at that point. Likewise if we change the state to past approval we can see that watermark change to approved. Likewise if for whatever reason I would like to manually edit that assuming I have permissions to do so I can check out the file and modify that directly on the data card check this file back in and we can see that will modify the watermark as well thanks for watching